Okay, people, we've reached the uh, the home stretch of the game here. This is probably my favorite point in the game. As it comes here to the ending sequences, it's, uh, it gets really interesting to me. And uh, we're going to talk about the uh, the last bits of the novel very, very soon. As soon as we reach, we just got to get uh, double back and get to the, uh, what do you call it? The gate, since the gate's been powered again. All right, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if we're going to be attacked. And look at that, she came all the way. She came within r one rung of the final thing and then went back up. This is a great AI. Awesome AI. Get your... All right, let's go. Run for our lives. Sure, we gotta go. We gotta climb up the ladder up here, though, to get the uh, what is it to, to lower the last bridge, I believe. Look at that view. Look at that. This looks gorgeous for a game that was on PS2. Really been a treat playing in HD. So I've noticed the game doesn't really have like you would expect to have worse aliasing for the for 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 it being a PS2 game, but it looks really good. I don't know if they helped smooth that out or what, but. Here we go, here we go. Alright, I don't think I need her here yet. It's just a thing I pull. It's not where I pull it. <clears throat> Alright. Now that should allow us to go back. We have to go down to the courtyard, I think, and then... That's how you get to the gate. Oh boy! Not good. Let's hope we can do this. Ugh. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Get up. Ugh. You know, we can even, we don't even need to, uh, get your hand. Give me your hand. We can just run through here. We don't need to take him out. They're not going to follow us through here. I think you go through here. Whoa, what the hell? I think this is from last time. I don't know. These guys are from last time. <laughs> I think they were just here because of, uh, they didn't kill them way back. I could be wrong, but who knows. Come on now. You guys want to mess with me? Come on. Hey, there's one stuck down there. We gotta head down there anyway. We don't even really need to take him out. We can just run through here. Don't need to bother with him. All right, I think we might be good now. We might be able to. Yeah, there's the there's the uh, courtyard or whatever we call. I guess it's the courtyard. A courtyard, the main courtyard. All right, we 
you did it. I'm sure it's smooth sailing from here on out. I'm sure nothing will happen. I'm sure we'll escape the castle and live a happily ever after. This is gonna happen. Come on. I'm do one last save, though. We gotta do one last save before we, uh... Just in case something happens. Have a seat. Now, what's about to happen here is very different from what happens in the novel. It, uh, it happens a completely different way in the novel. Totally different sequence of events, which I'll explain in just a moment. Here we go. Let's go. Man, the faces look so much more detailed than this. Bridge to Terabithia. There we go, that's how we entered the castle. Right, Yorda, let's go. Oh boy. She's weakened. There's too much static electricity. If I stop walking, I don't think she'll fall. Back up here. Come on now. I think the first time I played this, I didn't realize that this was... I, I didn't realize that you started controlling it all of a sudden here. Messed it up, but anyway. Oh, there goes my mace. I worked so hard to get that. What the hell? I don't know if it was green in the... That looks really weird. That looks like... Why is it green? What the hell? Is that, a... is that some type of a glitch? <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell is it green? That was weird. I don't remember there being any green rim to the blackness. That looked... That looked very strange. Farewell. All right. Now I will explain how the novel differed from uh, this part of the game because it was 
quite different. You never actually even make it to that point, uh, to the gates uh, and, and the bridge. Uh, instead, you and Yorda stumble upon the throne room, okay? And Yorda sits upon the throne and her mother starts talking through her. The queen starts talking through her. And this is pretty much where you're met with the most startling revelation in the book. Um, the queen explains that she never... Uh, that she never commanded that sacrifices be made to the castle. Uh... Uh, as you know, the queen was wasn't wasn't truly dead. It was actually the handmaiden who was beheaded, and then the queen went into Yorda, and the queen had relinquished her body at that point, so she was just this spirit thing. Um, but what happened is after she turned the city of Zagrenda's soul to stone, uh, I'm just trying to read my notes here. The, the the priest k king, who was still alive, and Ozma was as well, decided that there was no other way, that the queen's power had grown too much and there was no way to stop her. So instead, he would use Yorda to lock the queen away forever in the castle. He would basically use Orda to freeze time in the castle, which is why there's, you see the, um, what do you call it, the... the the torches and stuff are lit in the castle because like nothing is having Yorda is still 16 years old despite it actually being hundreds or maybe even a thousand years later uh but he so they freeze the castle in time along with Yorda and Ozma says if this is to be Yorda's fate then I want to be uh, a sacrifice and I'll pledge my bloodline to uh to protect her there and to keep her there um and the queen the queen actually allowed this to happen and the reason why is because and i quote because wait what is it what is it She says, because I was satisfied, sacrifice, this is her talking to Eko through Yorda, because I was satisfied, sacrifice, they were doing my God's work for me. Picture, if you will, the beloved creations of the sun god here on this land, the very ones he told to go forth and prosper, sacrificing one of their own kind, twisting them into horrible shapes and locking them away across the sea, and then accepting the resultant peace as their rightful reward. Did they really think they could sin and just wash their hands of it? pretending that nothing was wrong is that the proper way for men to behave when men do such things of their own accord then the entire land is an offering to the dark god my master takes as his power man's fear man's hatred and man's anger how pleased he must be i had won the darkness had won now you see why i was content and uh yeah that's pretty much the how the game itself starts out according to the book is why Yorda is locked away into the castle here. And uh, there, there are some other small differences here that I'll point out when we get to the, the final sequence, final battle or whatever, but... Well, actually, it says say also the... The queen at this point also makes Eko an offer, saying that he could very well escape the castle with Yorda, but that the people who sent him to be the sacrifice in the first place, who lied to him about his purpose, would never forgive him. Therefore, the queen offered him. The queen said he, he she would serve as his master and protector, giving him the power to exact his revenge. Um, and the queen leaves him, takes Yorda's body, and leaves him to ponder his decision. And, uh, there is another sequence where he once again sees another vision from Ozuma and talks to Ozuma one last time and kind of resolves to go find Ozuma's sword, which is what we're going to do right now is actually what we're...
heading towards, and I died. Very good. That didn't happen in the book either. I don't know why that happened. Let's try that again. But, uh, as you recall, the, the sword is meant to be imbued with the power of the Book of Light. It was enchanted by it. So that's why the sword has power. We're gonna go get that sword right now. Let's go. Okay. And this, uh, this little sequence where we're hopping on these things, they're these cages. They are actually mentioned in the book, even though he doesn't actually do this in the novel. This isn't the path that he takes, but he does see these. So it's kind of an interesting little revelation, uh, a different way of, of seeing things that you wouldn't have necessarily taken from the game itself, since there's not enough information. So I kind of liked it. It was pretty, pretty fascinating turn. The village people heal turn. All right. But yeah, I've played this sequence here so many times because uh, I just love seeing the ending of the game. I must have played it like eight times on PS2. <laughs> we'll see how well I remember it, but it shouldn't be trouble. Push this in there. Oh yeah. Let's open the gate. Ah, oh, there's another one over here, I guess. Oh, I gotta use the... Gotta use this block. Could you grab it, my friend? Thank you. Alright, we got it open. Now we gotta swim this box over to the chain that uh, we lowered. No, we don't. All right, up we go. All right, we gotta push this. I think we gotta push it this way, maybe. There we go, starts the, the cogs turning. They're not really cogs, but whatever. Gets those gears a moving, let's see. Now, how do I get down? I just jumped down, alright. Alright. Hopefully they haven't changed anything here at the end, but it looks almost like they only changed like one puzzle in the game. Maybe there was another one that was changed too, but I can't be sure. 
change from the US version, I mean. I'm gonna be careful with this. Okay, I don't know why he's not grabbing it. Swing, yeah, I gotta swing from one to the other. All right, going pretty smoothly here. Just gotta jump up here now. What the? What was that? What was that? I didn't push any button. The kid just let go. What was that crap? That was absolute horseshit. Okay. Sorry. That was not right. That was completely, completely wrong. The game just decided to screw me. game just decided to screw me. Wow. <sighs> I'm not supposed to go here. I'm supposed to go over there. Dude, I've never had that happen before. To just let go. Grab on, kid. Grab on. He's not grabbing. <sighs> what is he doing? Come on now. Okay. This should have been the sequence I did with no problem whatsoever. Did everything right, but sometimes you still get unlucky. It doesn't do it again. Let's hope it actually works this time. And, oh my god, he didn't have enough swing. Jesus Christ, I've never had this much trouble with this before. Can't see. Oh my god, I can't believe this has been this stupid. Hopefully, with The Last Guardian, the controls are a little bit more precise. I mean, they've had so many years since then. Shadow of the Colossus still had...
still had some control issues. Still wasn't as tight as it could be. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go up a little higher this time. Let's get swinging as much as we can. Okay. Alright, now we're going to try this again, see if we get fucked over for no reason. Nope, for that, it just mysteriously worked. Isn't that how it happens? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Alright, this is the part where it's gonna be... <laughs> Alright, goodness. Alright, we got past all the hardest stuff. Ugh. I mean, at least it'll be a, uh, what do you call it? It's a, um, checkpoint at this point. So, we're good. There's still some silly jumps over here that you have to do, but... At least I got past all of that. Just love the atmosphere at this point of the game. See, there's this point. It gets a little bit funny. You can sometimes bounce off the wall. Get okay. Oh, this is like a this is a weird part too because sometimes you can jump straight out and miss it. All right, all right, we did it. We did it. I think right here we come back in the pipe system and then we're right back in the castle. Careful here too, because you can fall off. And look at this. Look at this. All the chains hanging off the bridge. The sound effects in this game are just so good. Playing of your feet on the on the pipes it just sounds so real. So wing, so wing. All right. Let's see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get, get up there, kiddo. Hmm, this isn't the path we take. I think we gotta, do we gotta, no? Maybe over here? No, you can't jump across there. 
Can't do that. This is the bridge we gotta take. Right, there'll be a, what do you call it, a chain hanging down here we gotta go down. Or we gotta push, I guess. We gotta move it over this way. And then I think we go further this way. Nope, it's not right. Not right at all. Hmm. No, I guess you do jump right here. You jump right here. It's just... All right. Now this will get you... Yeah, we gotta go down this way. Make sure I'm swinging good before I do this. All right. Uh, that's not the ladder. Not the ladder at all. What the hell? I guess there's something else we gotta do. I don't know why that ladder is there. Might be a switch to lower the chain more or something. Oh, that's right, I don't have any weapons, so now I can do the Soldier Boy again. Soldier Boy! Soldier Boy! All right, might be this ladder. Yeah, this is gonna let me jump. Wow. All right, now this will take, all right, finally I'm down to the, uh, the bottom here. Down to the bottom. This is actually water. Wait a second. This has changed. Wasn't this water in the US version? I thought this was water unless it... I don't know. I thought this was water in the US version. It's very odd. Huh. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. Maybe when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll go right in here and do the last, uh, the last portion of the game.